stack of Monster Book of Monsters. Cindio! Spiders! Sendio. Spiders. Incendio. For this first challenge, only three students from each team will take part. It was an agonizing decision, but after much deliberation, I've decided on you, Mr. Farrell, and Miss Vole due to their excellent skill, wits, and knowledge. Professor, Ivy is clearly the best spellcaster on the team. Shouldn't she take part? Yes, Miss Warrington's charms are exquisite, but this challenge isn't about skill with a wand, but rather magical knowledge, how it's used, when to use it, and where it comes from, historically speaking, of course. Oh, so it's a test. I'm very good at tests. That you are, Mr. Farrell, and Miss Vole is as clever as they come. And this one has the best all-around skill set of the group. Together, you'll make quite a formidable team. You're going to be brilliant. Well then, I believe we are as ready as we shall ever be. To the stage, and may good fortune be with you. Kenji, are you all right? What was that about? Nothing. A disagreement between teammates. Oh. That looked like more than a disagreement to me. It is... it is my problem. Please do not trouble yourself with me. I don't want anyone to get hurt. Hurt? How would anyone get hurt?
Modern magic is built upon a foundation of ancient wisdom. The book before you is filled with questions and tasks that will test the depth of your magical knowledge. For each correct answer, the rubble in front of your table will add to the construction of a scale model of your school. The first team to complete their castle wins. But be warned, a single wrong answer will cause the construction to collapse, requiring you to rebuild and lose precious time. Remember, accuracy in spellcasting is more important than speed. Ready? Then you may begin. Tricky. Let me think. You can do it, Kev. We trust you. Pick up the pace! We can't lose now! Ugh, I hate seeing him so smug. Tell me you figured it out, Kevin. Almost! Uh, there's just one question left. What is it? It's a spell. A very difficult, extremely complicated spell. And it's written in ancient runes. They're not making it easy, are they? Um, they're really quite hard to make out, but I think, maybe... Come on, Kev! Don't stop now! Use that big brain, you mad wizard genius! Go Hogwarts! Do you have it, Kev? Yes? Write it down, then. Yes, write something. I don't want to lose because you second-guessed us into third place. No, I didn't make a mistake! That's impossible! Huh, I knew Vigo would fail! Now hurry up! There's one brick left! Okay, I think I've got it! Cast this spell! Got it! Our answer is... Kev? Yes. Yes, it was. And so is he. That was fun. You're very good. Congratulations. Thank you. It was very close. And yes, very exciting. Oh, I must go. I'm sorry. Out of you, all of you. It was so close. But we lost. It doesn't matter how close it was. Actually, it does, Miss Bull. The scores are in, and even though Mahutokoro won the challenge, Hogwarts is only five points behind, thanks to Mr. Farrell's quick and very accurate translation. As for Ilvermorny... I didn't cast it wrong. You gave me the wrong translation! We did get it right in the end. That's gotta count for something. Third place! That's what losing gets us. Third place! Watch it! Oh, it's you! You got lucky! Wow, 
Some people are really bad at losing. Daniel didn't come, did he? No. He said he had something to do in Hogsmeade that he couldn't get out of. At least he wasn't in the potions dungeon again. He's been there every night for the past week. He's working on a special potion with Professor Slughorn. Or so he says. I think he's still upset about not making the team but won't admit it. You know how he is. He's very secretive sometimes. Yes. Yes, he is. All right, everyone, gather round. You did wonderfully today, but now is not the time to relax. The second challenge will be announced in three weeks. It will be Ilvermorny's choice. Given what we've seen so far, I would recommend brushing up on defensive spells and shield charms. Chances are you're going to need them. Hi, Robin. I'm surprised to find you here. Have you seen Kevin? I thought maybe he'd want to train with us. He's over there, somewhere, with his new best friend. Apparently, Kenji likes old books almost as much as Kev. I take it that's not the Saturday you had planned. Not even close. Although, I'm happy for him. Kev deserves a friend who gets him. Merlin knows I only understand about half of what he says sometimes. Oh, hello! Look at what we found! The history of magical plagues! All 13 volumes! Your library is wonderful. The library at Mahotokoro is very nice, but here the books are. I'm not sure how to say it. You mean Mustia? Mustia? Are their volumes categorized by scent? No, but there should be! That's brilliant! You see what I have to put up with? They're perfect for each other. Too smart for their own good. In fact, I don't know which one is smarter. Oh, well, it's not a contest or anything. I mean... <laughs> gotcha! Sounds like you've got a lot of reading to do. I'm surprised none of your teammates are here, Kenji. Oh. They will come when I am not here. What do you mean? I am... not popular on my team. Why? Because they're jealous you're smarter than they are? No, no. It's not like that. There is, uh... fear. I am sorry. It is hard to explain. We think you're great, Kenji. If you need anything, just ask. Thank you. You are very kind. And I do have a question. There is a section in the back, behind ropes. That's the restricted section. It's full of rare books, valuable stuff. Uh, also, books on dark magic. I see. There are books on ancient curses, yes? Sure. But... Why do you want to learn some old curses? Not to learn. To cure. Oh. Well, the restricted section is, you know, restricted. But we can ask Madame Pince for an exception. Follow me! Vi! What are you doing here? Hey, Ivy! Just doing some research. Homework. You know, magic stuff. Trying to get it done before the picnic tonight. That's right! American-style barbecue and broom races! I can't wait! Me too. Curious to see what your cooks come up with. Vigo is overseeing the menu, so who knows? Might be a disaster. He's a bit of a hothead, isn't he? Yeah, that's just Vigo being Vigo. Great with a wand, terrible with people. Rest of the team's cool, except maybe Zack. We used to be friends, but then he started hanging with Vigo all the time. Don't really know who he is anymore. I know what you mean. My sister and I used to be so close, and now she'll barely look at me. Cassandra says Winnie is afraid of me, which is ridiculous. We're sisters. 
What's there to be afraid of? I'm sorry. We should do something fun. A butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks, maybe? Yeah, wish I could, but I really need to do that research for, um, class. You go. I'll catch you at the picnic. But would you mind taking Nono? He could use the outdoor time, and I don't think the librarian appreciated me bringing him in here. Sure. No problem. You know, Ivy, maybe we could help Violet. There's nothing in the rules about studying together. We can go to Hogsmeade another time. That's a great idea. Oh, sorry, Lottie. We didn't know you were here. Did you see Violet? Um, no. Trust me. Sorry. That's odd. I thought crops only barked at muggles. You know what else is odd? That's the first time I've ever seen Lottie without paint on her robes. Wow, Violet. This all looks delicious. Doesn't it? I'm surprised too. The ribs are sweet and tangy, just the way I like them, and the fried chicken is some of the best I've ever had. No joke. This is amazing. Do you get to eat like this all the time? Nah. You'd need to know some serious weight loss charms to eat this food all time, but it's good getting to know your food, as my dad might say. You know, we don't have to stay if you don't want to. We could go to Hogsmeade, like you said. All of us, let's go. We just got here, Vi. It's fine. Everything looks great. Sure, right. Everything's fine. Fine and fine, fine. Is something wrong, Vi? <gasps> Kenji, what's wrong? This is not normal. What do you mean? He is not complete. He's a wild beast. We can't have someone like that in the competition. He should be disqualified. It's okay, Kenji. No one is going to hurt you. Watch out, Kev! He's a werewolf! He's not, actually. It's a curse. A blood curse. Like a maledictus, but on his father's side. Kenji is cursed to transform into a fox. He can't help it. When he's under great stress, he changes. But he's not dangerous. Are you blind? He just attacked his captain! He's scared! Something's wrong. He can usually <laughs> control it. Transformation. Not complete. Poisoned. did this? You put something in his drink! Me? Look at him! He's the monster! I didn't do anything! You did something? What's in your pockets? Nothing. Not that it's any of your business. Vigo <laughs> gave it to Zack! Don't let him get away! I'll get him.
It's gone. Whatever he had, it's lost in the forest now. It doesn't matter. We know what he did. And we know what he is! He should be disqualified! He might be right. Look at him. He could be dangerous. Oh, my. It's all right, dear. Please, drink this. It will help you calm down. Then we can work on setting you right. You knew? You knew all along? Of course I knew. Mr. Kobayashi was very upfront about his condition. Although I was assured it was under control. It was until Vigo poisoned him. Whatever he gave Kenji made him transform. Although only halfway. Do you have any proof of this? No, Professor. We tried to get it, but... But nothing. You got nothing. Except for this little furry beast who has no business in the tournament. He ought to be kicked out and their scores erased. That's only fair. Fair, Mr. Victor, would be that no one suffer a condition such as the one Mr. Kobayashi must carry with him for the rest of his life. He certainly doesn't deserve to be punished for it. He stays in the tournament. Mahutokoro's score stands. Huh. We'll see what our headmaster has to say about this. Come, everyone. Madame Pomfrey will be able to offer further treatment in the hospital wing. Mr. Farrell... Yes, I'll take them. Come on, Kenji. I've got to. Did any of you know about Kenji's condition? No. What I want to know is how Vigo knew about it. Must have overheard his teammates talking. That's why they didn't like Kenji. They didn't trust him. It's gonna be awful having something like that inside of you. He couldn't help it. That's just who he is. Winifred, what do you mean? On the inside, Kenji has a darkness. But it's not his fault! You must see that! Winnie? What's wrong? Just stay back, Ivy, please! Why? Are you... afraid of me? Yes, don't you see? You've got a darkness inside of you, too! I've seen it! What? That's not true! Uh, unless... My dark vision... You've seen her? Ivy? What is she talking about? Her... My dark vision... Somehow... Winifred knows... That's why she's afraid of me... She thinks I hurt her on purpose... That I could do it again! But you didn't before, and you won't now. You know that, right? Yes, I know. But how do I convince my sister of that when I can't even get close without her running away? I hate to say it, but there is one person Winifred will talk to. Maybe it's time we asked for her help? <sighs> Cassandra. Potato! 
Atom's fit. Protego Totalis. Take it from here. Stand back! Assist me! Sorry, I let you down. Acromantula Venom. I'll take it from here. I'll always lend a hand. You called? I'm here if you need me. I'll take it from here. You're in good hands. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next episode.